Ah, Borua Boye. So, you know, the other day I was um, introduced to a, a, a term. And it was a term that is uh, said to be um, a category or a title of uh, the Orisha priesthood. And so I had never heard of the term before. And um, I, I started to try to figure out where it was coming from. And um, it, it, I, it's, it's not a real term. And I'm deliberately not using the term because it, it, that detail isn't as important as the mindset that um, that drives that kind of um, that kind of thinking, where whereby people we are increasingly um, seeking shortcuts to uh, uh, um, empowerment and a sense of connection to the divine through these traditions, right? So I really do believe that the majority of the people are responding to something good. They're, 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 they're responding to the spirit. They just, they just don't know what route to take. And I certainly don't mean to suggest that I have the way, but I've done my homework. And so part of doing my homework is more than just saying no that's not real and no that's not right and no that's not how you do it right that's 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 easy anybody could do that right it, it doesn't take a lot of um, study or or such a quick mind to be able to identify when things aren't right okay my work is really about showing a, that this this isn't correct but more importantly this is correct okay so once you know that something is off the, the, the real work comes in identifying where is where do you get on okay and then how do you stay on and once you're on how do you enhance and improve and add value to whatever you're on to okay and that's what personal priesthood is all about personal priesthood is absolutely positively without question an inside out approach to making your connection to the divine because that's ultimately want what you want to do there is a a god consciousness in all of us and that god consciousness is always correcting us and redirecting us towards things that are more more pure things that are more authentic things that are more original and and in alignment with um, our divine purpose here in the world, which according to Ephi is to bring about the good condition. And so personal priesthood to me is the best way to go about making that journey because personal priesthood as an inside out process is going to make a direct connection between your own natural gifts and talents and your spiritual inheritance that has come down through your ancestors. So I'm going to give you, you know, a prime example, which comes in through uh, dreaming. There are very few things that are really universal in, in the spiritual journey, right? But one thing that is absolutely universal is that we all have ancestors. All of us. There are no people here today that we know of who don't have ancestors, right? The second thing that is universal to all people is that we all have dreams. And all people have dreams in all corners of the world and in every era since the beginning of time it is safe to assume that people have always been dreamers okay so that means if you accept my premise which is dreams are the sacred text of your personal priesthood you'll understand how your dreams and the interpretation of those dreams, or even your relationship to those dreams, can be traced back generation after generation after generation. And, and it constitutes a tradition, a spiritual tradition that's been passed down since the beginning of time. And that is true whether or not you are, uh, you know, from the beginning of time, you're a Yoruba who's only been in Yoruba land. 
or if you're an African American who has a little bit of Bamileke, a little Yoruba, a little bit of Basque, a little bit of French, a little bit of Iroquois, you know what I'm saying? You can you can add as much to it as you want to, but one thing is true, you have ancestors and you dream and all your ancestors have dreamed and so there is a way that your family has passed down some sort of consciousness and some 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 relationship to dreaming that if you make the time and the effort and slow yourself down enough to tap into those dreams you're going to start to see more and more and more and more and more from a Nifa perspective let's say just to draw an analogy on one level more means more sacred text right as a babalawo what I'm concerned with more than anything else are verses of Ifa, because that's how I substantiate the practices that I that I deliver in my services, right? If it doesn't come out of a verse of Ifa, then it's you know, what where, where does it come from? It's, then it's got to come out of some oriki. That's the basis of what we do. Likewise, in your dreams, you're going to get the basis for what you do. But as a babalawo, this is why the, your ancestry is so important. As a Babalawo, we depend on the ancestral lineages of all Babalawos, right? That is seldom said, but there is Egungun of, of Oromila, or Egungun of the Babalawo, and people are nurturing that Egungun, that masquerade, that tradition. It's being nurtured and fed, and all of us are drawing from that, and we're calling it, right? We're always... You know, Akoda, Sheda, and you know, all, all of the different uh, original Babalawos who walked the earth. And in and, and, and the verses of Ifa, where every verse begins with the name of a Babalawo, we are invoking those people and, 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 and feeding their spirits, their souls. Okay? So, in your, in, your in your professional priesthood, you see the template for how knowledge is passed down, validated, and empowered over time in your personal priesthood it is very similar but you have to make the time it's you within yourself and within your family that you have to make the time to start to catalog all of your dreams and talk to your family members about all of their dreams so I want you to, to imagine what it will be like just one generation from now if you and all your siblings pull your dreams and you talk to one another. What did you dream? What did you dream? What did you dream? And then within, you know, your family circle, you talk to one another about what's going on in your lives at that time, and you figure out what the dreams mean. Because that's exactly how an Oduifa works. This Babalawo divine for this individual when that individual was doing A, B, and C. That's you know what I mean? A dream is that. I was somewhere. Or somebody was somewhere and something happened. And as a result of that something, something happening, this is what occurred. Now, that dream took place when I was in uh, Jalapa Veracruz. That dream took place when I was um, um, going to have my, 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 my first daughter. That dream took place when I was graduating from school, right? So it contextualizes the dream, and, and that's what gives it meaning. And then that's if you if you index it and catalog it, and you share it with your family members, then you have the basis of starting to formulate a personal priesthood. Okay, so it's 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 not glamorous. It, it, it it's not um, it's not even necessarily. Um, uh, desirable depending on what your relationships are with your 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 siblings and your aunts and your uncles and your grandparents etc but that's your superpower that's the thing that's going to insulate you from getting robbed basically so you see people running around and they're dropping 10 15 20 thousand dollars and then to get initiated to a b or c they come home and they they can't do anything. They have they have no no contact with their own spiritual development. They can't do anything. And you know it's true. 
And we, you keep hearing the stories about people becoming kings and chiefs and priests and priestesses and people creating terms and making up all kinds of titles and all that stuff because people are clamoring and trying to create and invent things that will never, ever, ever, ever address that gaping hole between here and here and here and here and here and there. You got you to gotta start here and you got to connect the dots, right? And, 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 and then everything is going to start to open up and flower for you. But it takes time. It takes discipline. It takes focus. And that focus is always, always, always in the ultimate sense helping to bring about the good condition. Because in the beginning, your family lineage came to the world and chose to add something to Olodumare's creation here in the world. Your lineage, okay, in the beginning. The reason why y'all are here is because somebody in the beginning said, we will represent. As long as there's one of us in the world, we will bring this. Okay? And some of that uh, ancestral memory... That, an that some of that ancestral um, promise is being transmitted through the ancestral memory, which is conveyed through your dreams. Okay? So this video is, is, is covering a lot of different ground. I'm, I'm going in multiple directions. Um, but if you listen to it, you know, three or four times and you take some notes, um, you're going to be able to get a better understanding of, of what this is about and why it matters to you. Um, but I hope that the, the meaning is clear enough to inspire you to uh, seek a little bit further and um, define and clarify your personal priesthood through downloading, documenting, indexing not only your dreams, but the dreams of your family members. Aboru aboye, aboshishen.